the 38th day of 2018. Your accessory packet. Cheese spread with jalapenos. Your ration eater. Black beans in a seasoned sauce. Barbecue sauce. Your spoon. Beverage base powder, tropical punch. A trans fat free chocolate chip cookie. Tortillas, plain. A nutrition label for black beans in a seasoned sauce. And finally, Shredded beef and barbecue sauce. I feel like this is just as important as the main here. So I'm going to try heating up both of these in the heater. Alright, so, it's on the side in the middle. Now, I did hear when you pack them like this that you're supposed to add some extra salt that it might help with the heating, but... I'm not going to do that. I think it might have overfilled by a little bit, but that's okay. I can already smell it. While we're waiting on that to cook, we can look at the other things in this MRE. Five grams of protein in the tortillas. 
eight in the black beans in a seasoned sauce. Four grams in a cheese spread with jalapenos. Nothing in the barbecue sauce, not a surprise. Nothing there. And three grams in a trans fat free cookie. That's 20 so far, not counting the beef. 905. And the beef itself, which I do believe is 300 calories. So coming in at 1200 calories and That's remarkably solid sounding. I suppose I'll try this beverage paste powder since I have nothing else to do. Nice. Well, it's already very potent. I can tell you that right now. I'm almost afraid I won't be able to get this off the spoon. See, this is what I get for not reading labels. Much smoother. Well, it's definitely fruit punchy. I can tell you that. I think it's time for that main. So while we add this 300 and this 22, it comes out to 1,200 calories and 42 grams of uh, protein. So it's okay. Here we go. I must say, by the look of it, it's very... Uh, Well, it's something. Let's try some of this. Well, it's exactly as it, uh, is advertised, but there's kind of like a a staleness or an oldness to it. You could definitely tell it's prepackaged food, for sure. Black beans and a seasoned sauce. They both heat it up pretty well. This one's still kind of cold though. The beans.
Mm. Honestly, it just reminds me of menu number one. It's almost exactly how it tasted during that last video. It's not bad. You know what? That gives me an idea. Now it's more lukewarm, but that's all right. The spiciness kind of makes up for it. Check those out. Oh, are ripping. Nice. Let's try to salvage the one here. I, I, I don't think we're saving it. Come on. We're not saving it. Let's try it out. It reminds me almost exactly of menu one. I was coming into this with slightly lower standards, but this is pretty good. I like it. Here you go, you got your cheese bread and your barbecue sauce. Let's do this. I guess that's the most we're getting out of that. It's a bit late for this, but might as well go all out for that second one, right? It's going to be positively falling out of this in no time. It's an amalgam of flavors. You can taste everything, but at the end of it is when the cheese comes in. And it's nice, because it's a little break away from it all.
I don't even know how it's still holding together. Well, if there's one thing I can tell you about this meal, it's very messy. It was really great trying that out. I I enjoyed it. Just like I know I'm going to enjoy this. Wow. It crunches. The cookie is dry. I prefer my cookies soft, but a crunchy cookie isn't bad. Well, that's to the cookie. Well, it was a very nice meal. I was going to say video at first, too. And then I thought it was stupid, but now that I think back on it, it was a nice video, too. I think for tomorrow, I'm going to come into the MRE with a little bit of a higher expectation. Because this one managed to surprise me in a pleasant way. And I, for one, enjoy that sort of thing. Well, I ain't gonna take much more of your time. See you around.